Hi, I'm Kayla Hoffman and this is your Prince George's County Public Schools update. It may be summer vacation, but the past school year is still fresh in our memory. Take the top 48 high school students, for instance, who were honored at a special dinner in May. Here's Dave Zern with the story of the vows in South. Morgan, did you write this? This is great. Morgan's father was valedictorian in his high school, and his twin sister, Morgan's aunt, was salutatorian. But me, I get my smarts from my mother. I like it. Smarts, wherever they came from, were all around at a special ceremony last May, honoring Prince George's School's 48 valedictorians and salutatorians. The academic success of all 24 high school's top two students was celebrated at the historic Newton White Mansion as friends and family cheered them on. Bibiana, what's she going to do next year? She's going to the University of Maryland College Park. She's going to major in the field of engineering and mathematics. Her greatest accomplishment, she said, Mr. Zarin, I was able to play year-round sports and still maintain straight A's throughout my high school career. Asia is an actress. She hopes to further her acting career. She wants to major in film and television production. The highlight of her career, oh yeah, she's an actress. She got the lead role in the school play when she was a freshman, a role usually given to seniors. So take that, seniors. Asia Heru. Headed for prestigious universities and armed with millions in scholarship money, the Vows and Sals will soon be preparing for various careers, but especially nursing, a point noted by the interim superintendent. We were putting check marks beside your name um, because one of the things that we're looking for are nurses in the Prince George's County Public Schools. So guess what, students? You thought that you were going to get away from us, but we are going to follow you. We are going to stalk you to try to get you to come back to become a nurse in the Prince George's County Public Schools. Like the vows and sows, our next story is a real gem. In fact, the GEMS program is mining some future female star students. Here's Grant Kettleson with the story. There are plenty of GEMS at Longfields Elementary School, but they aren't of the jewel variety. GEMS stands for Girls Empowered to Meet Success. It is a mentoring program to help the female students realize that success is attainable as long as they're willing to work for it. And when examples such as Board of Education member Regina Jacobs and State's Attorney Angela Alsobrooks come to share their success stories, it gives our PGCPS students something to aspire to. It doesn't matter where you come from. Um, your, 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 your background is not necessarily your, your destiny or your destination. Um, although I didn't have a bad background, it's just a matter of showing them that sometimes you have to do the extra work. You have to do um, what's necessary to be successful. And success is defined as being a productive citizen and giving back to your community, essentially. And so my story, there's so many to tell, but my story is one in which, you know, I think it resonates for, for young girls, you know, when, they, when they're constantly trying to figure out what they want to be, who they're trying to be, um, just to let them know that ordinary people um, care and ordinary people are doing things every single day. The, the extra struggle that's required you do to have to do to, to, to be successful. Next up, a familiar sight to every student and parent who's ever done a science fair project. Here's a look at the annual Kids for Science event at Eleanor Roosevelt High School. The one is Joseph Brent from Avalon Elementary. Where's Joseph? Joseph, your title? Burn candles, burn. <laughs> And then there's Lilis Carly's project. She's at Kenilworth Elementary. Where's Lilis? Lilis here? Lilis's project is called, How Long Will I Burn? Oh my goodness, I'm afraid for you. Science projects with sometimes scary, but usually just clever titles, filled the cafeteria at Eleanor Roosevelt High School back in May for the 23rd annual Kids for Science STEM Fair. The top third, fourth, and fifth grade projects detailing how worms work, chocolate melts, water freezes, and so much more earn dozens of students colored ribbons, gift cards, lab equipment like telescopes, and based on the sparkle in their eyes, a launching pad to a scientific career of the student's very own. 
a science fair winners get ribbons and plaques, beauty contest winners like Miss Nigeria of America get sashes and crowns. This one also has roots here in Prince George's County. Tokumbo Kajori, Miss Nigeria in America, talked with students at Benjamin Tasker. And it wasn't that long ago that she was in their shoes. Tokumbo attended Greenbelt Middle School right here in Prince George's County. So relating to the current crop of PGCPS students wasn't hard at all. Growing up here, you don't really get to know what you have until you are actually into the real world. Um, it, it's great to come back, speak with the students. Um, I was one of them many years ago, so it, it's, really, it, it's really inspiring to me, not only you know, to talk to them, but to also know that I'm you know, instilling something in them that's going to help us in the future. Tokunbo was back in Prince George's County to help promote her platform of youth development as she looks to empower children through something they enjoy doing. Looking forward to seeing our PG youth, you know, really taking what they know and helping our community. It's all about giving back. As I'm doing now, that's what I hope that they do in a couple of years from now as well. That's it for this edition of The Update. For Grant and Dave, I'm Kayla Hopkins. We'll see you next time with more good news from Prince George's County Public Schools.